I thought that was it. No, no, that's the bonus. <laughs> they were hard so enough. That's, that's to inspire you. Um, okay, so uh, which British scientist, this is the final 10, which British scientist wrote Philosophy Naturalis and Principia Mathematica, first published in 1687? Was it Tim Peake? Was it Ada Lovelace? Was it Isaac Newton? Or was it Maria Margareta Kish? So which British scientist wrote so letters, Prin we? Principia <laughs> Mathematica? Okay. Oh. Going to the next round. In 1609, who published New Astronomy Justified of, uh, of or Celestial Physics with commentaries on the movements of the stars of Mars and the observations of Tycho Brahe? Was it Nicholas Copernicus? Was it Johannes Kepler? Mark Watney? Or was it Tycho, Tycho Brahe? Who wrote that? New Astronomy Justified in 1609. Nicholas Copernicus, Johannes Kepler, Mark Watney, or Tycho Brahe. That's Tycho Brahe's nose, by the way. Yeah. Which Canadian wrote Space Sessions, Songs from a Tin Can? Was it Catherine Dawn Lang? Was it David Bowie, Joni Mitchell, or Chris Hadfield? Who wrote Space Sessions, Songs from a Tin Can? Silence. OK, next one. Which Sky at Night presenter wrote, Can You Speak Venusian, A Guide to Independent Thinkers, written in 1972? Was it Magnus Alfred Pike, Sir Patrick Moore, Dame Maggie Adderin Pocock, or Professor Cliff Chris Lintot? Who book. wrote Can You Speak Venusian? Moving on to question five. Which American cosmologist wrote Cosmos in 1980? Was it Carl Sagan? Was it Darrow Brian? Was it Arthur C. Clarke? Or was it Neil deGrasse Tyson? Which American cosmologist wrote Cosmos back in 1980? Question six. Who in 1825 of Alex and me can only be said that we were but tools and did as well as we could, but your father, William, was obliged to turn us first into tools which we could work for him. Who wrote those lines? Was it Mary Somerville, Joseph Ritter von Fraunhofer, Caroline Herschel, or was it John Flamsteed? Oh, Who wrote that in 1825? Question seven, who is best known for E equals MC squared? Douglas Fairbanks Jr., Albert Einstein, James Watson Francis Crick, or Niels Bohr? Who is best known for E equals MC squared? And next. Whose thesis was entitled Stellar Atmospheres, a contribution to the observational study of high temperature in the reversing layers of stars, and Otto Struve later described as the most brilliant PhD thesis ever written in astronomy. Who wrote Stellar Atmospheres? Was it Professor Brian Cox? Was it Dr. Edwin Powell Hubble? Was it Professor Celia Payne-Kapochkin? Or was it Dame Jocelyn Bell Burnell? Who wrote the most brilliant PhD thesis ever written in astronomy? Penultimate question. Whose article in the fictional Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy described the Earth as mostly harmless? So whose article in the Hitchhiker's Guide? Was it Ford Prefects? Was it Postechnik Vogon Jeltz? Was it Stephen Fry? 
or was it Supreme Commander Servalan of the Terran Federation? <laughs> Whose article in the fictional Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy described the Earth as mostly harmless? It's an improvement. It was harmless before. And the final question of the evening, who along with the MIT, uh, MIT team they led designed and wrote the Apollo onboard flight software? Who wrote the flight software along with their team? Was it Neil Armstrong? Was it Katherine Johnson? Was it Bill Gates? Or was it Margaret Hamilton? Who wrote the software that landed the Apollo command modules? Uh, on, well, not the command modules, the uh, lander modules. Uh, the lems on the surface of the moon. Who I'd still be there if it was Bill Gates. <laughs> Blue screen. <laughs> Blue screen. Okay. Are you all happy? Did you want to go back over any of them? Go for broke. Go for broke. Okay. <clears throat> the answer. Who wrote Principia? It was Isaac Newton. Wrote Newton. It. Who wrote the fancy book on planetary motions, having spent loads of time with Tycho Brahe? It was Johannes Kepler. Oh, I got it. Who was our Canadian? It was Chris Hadfield. <laughs> yeah. that one. It wasn't Katie Lang. Yeah. <laughs> Patrick Moore wrote uh, whatever a Venusian. Speak like a oh. Venusian, I can't remember, yeah. Oh, I got that. He interviewed someone on Sky at Night once who claimed he could speak it, didn't he? I remember that. Yeah. And it was Carl Sagan that wrote Cosmos back in 1980. Yeah. Oh dear, I'm doing bad on these. So, who had a brother called Herschel and yeah, another bud Caroline. brother called William? Yeah. It was Caroline Herschel. I'd be shot if I got that wrong. Who's best known for E equal MC squared, although he didn't originally write it down. It was Albert Einstein. Uh, who wrote the most brilliant thesis in PhD thesis? Any answers? Celia Payne, wasn't it? I got B. It was Professor Celia Payne Gipochkin. Her thesis uh, uh, told, oh, well, it was the first one to suggest what all stars are made of. The composition of stars. Mm. And who described the Earth as mostly harmless? Ford Prefect. A. Ford it Prefect. was Ford Prefect. It was not Prostechnic Vogon Jeltz. Does anyone mm. remember? Poetry. <laughs> Vogon uh, uh, poetry. Poetry. Yeah. Poetry. He wrote, he wrote poetry. <laughs> and then <laughs> finally, who wrote the Apollo uh, landing software? It was Margaret Hamilton. Margaret yes. Hamilton wrote the software. 